Hello and welcome to TL's Cooking Love. Today I'm going to be making a very special recipe that was my grandmother's. It's called Mom Mom's White House Chicken. It was her go-to recipe and it's become a go-to recipe for my family. My sister and I make it quite often and we just love it. So I hope you enjoy it. I start with a whole chicken cut up and in this case, this chicken was so enormous that I ended up cutting the breast into three parts instead of two parts. And um, you can get a good look at this. This is in thirds. That's a huge chicken. So usually I just cut the breast in half, but in this case, not only did I cut the breast into thirds, I cut the thighs into, in halves and I usually don't do that either. So. Um, it's good to have a very sharp knife. Um, anyway, so what my grandmother used to do is she would use mocha mix and she'd have a bowl of mocha mix uh, and I use half and half and a bowl of Italian bread crumbs. And then I have a nine by 13 inch pan. I lined it with foil. Um, you know, you, you don't necessarily need to do that. Um, but the pan size is important. So anyways, it's just a, um, a line up here. So I'm gonna start with one piece and dip it into the breadcrumbs. And I really wanna make sure that every inch of this chicken, even underneath the skin, if I have to lift up the skin a little bit to get the breadcrumbs in there, I do. I really want every ounce of this coated. And then I will do that for all of the chicken and arrange it in the pan. Okay, here we go. There's the chicken in the pan. It's uh, arranged very closely. This chicken was so large, I actually had to use an overflow pan for a couple of the pieces. But I have this in here now. And um, what my grandmother used to do is just put a little dollop of butter on each piece. And she would throw this in the oven at 350 for an hour and a half. And she was such a wonderful cook. Uh, we just really enjoyed everything she made. I don't think she ever actually made a bad meal, <laughs> come to think of it. And this was really one of our favorites. So see you in an hour and a half. An hour and a half later and the chicken looks wonderful. Let's check it out. Perfectly done. Can't wait to taste it. Okay, I have my taster with me. Let's try it. This looks amazing. Mm. 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 You guys have to try this. It's mm. so delicious. It's flavorful. It's perfectly cooked mm -hmm. and delicious. I love it. I love the breaded flavor. You gotta try this. It's it's really perfect. It's juicy mm -hmm. and um, flavorful and just in time for our Passover Seder. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy.